Since I was very little, I have been doing sports. I played a lot of volleyball and national folk dances and my passion was riding sports. I was especially fit. However, by the end of 2000, I often felt very tired. Urges of going to the bathroom were sudden and harder to control. Also, very often I felt sleepy during the day. I knew something was wrong, but I thought that all the problems would go away. I never thought of going to see a doctor. It never crossed our mind that he may have colorectal cancer, especially since we knew that it was a disease for people over 50. I became very sleepy most of the time and finally I decided to go to the doctor and to have blood tests. My iron was very low at the level of 3 and my other parameters were not so good as well. Next thing was to ask honestly about my problem and to talk about it and finally to make a decision to go to the bloody colonoscopy. Now looking back, I still don't understand how for 8 to 10 months none of us ever thought that something was seriously wrong. Before colonoscopy, Milan has lost 15 kilos for 3 months. In sharp contrast to the overall declining rates of colorectal cancer in some countries, we see that incidence rates among adults younger than age of 50 are unfortunately increasing. The key triggers factors that we recognize are poor diet, lack of regular physical activity and obesity. I was denying the problem for more than a year and now I cannot believe how stupid I was. Sedation could be used, so that minimizes the unpleasantness of colonoscopy, so there should be no excuse to avoid this procedure. I will never forget the look on gastroenterologist's face when he came out of colonoscopy room. Milan had a tumor 10 centimeters in diameter and he advised us to schedule the surgery as soon as possible. When I realized that I had a cancer, although I had been in bad shape for more than a year, I thought it was a mistake. I did not believe that it could happen to me. After the person is diagnosed with malignant disease, uh, various emotional reactions may appear. Uh, immediately after hearing the diagnosis comes shock and denial and um, uh, why is this happening? Uh, it can't be happening to me. This is not my life. Uh, after that usually comes fear fear of the unknown, then also fear of the treatment itself, uh, uh, fear of the pain, fear of the changed bodily image, of being uh, dependent, being helpless, being burdened to one's family. There was no history of colorectal cancer in my family. I was living a healthy life, practicing sports a lot. Researchers have shown that more advanced tumors are seen in adults under 50 because the cases are not being caught early enough. Screening isn't recommended until this age, and the younger the patient is, the more likely they are to ignore symptoms or more advanced stages of disease. Embarrassment or fear of colonoscopy or surgery should not delay diagnosis. Cancer diagnosis requires profound changes in a person's lifestyle and also adaptation to new life circumstances, which is not easy. Uh, psychosocial support is crucial to every cancer patient, especially to young adults. Uh, family support and the support of the peer group in the first place. And though during the treatment we are usually uh, focused on somatic issues, uh, we should not forget that scientific studies show that uh, psychosocial support, optimism and faith are at least very important uh, elements of recovery. After I recovered, I had enough time to think all about it. And I ask myself, what kind of an idiot could make all these kind of excuses when my body was giving me so many strong warnings? Me. I'm one of those. My cancer changed me in a way that made me stronger. Unlike the majority of people, I see the bright, optimistic side of the problems and challenges in life. And that helps me to overcome them more easily. I had one great victory in my life. I beat my cancer.
Denial and excuses won't scare the problem away. You must understand, I was very lucky to have survived such an experience and to learn from it. Just one year after the surgery, I was jumping on the volleyball net and back in the saddle, back to my life that I had before. This is such a short time comparing to the life which I hope I have in front of me. If you feel alone, frightened or need some help, join us on our forum. It is possible to survive cancer.